Welcome again friends. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about the gastrointestinal microflora. Now among the gastrointestinal microflora, the most important one are the gram-negative rods and anaerobic organisms. Because majorly we have seen in case of skin microflora and eye microflora, mostly they are made up with uh, gram-positive coccus and gram-positive gram rods. But here we are going to see gram-negative bacteria more in, in gastrointestinal microflora. That is the uniqueness of this gastrointestinal microflora. It is consisting of majorly. So it is consisting of majorly two different things. One is uh, one is uh, the gram-negative rods, and another uh, thing is made up with anaerobic 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 organisms, right? So these are the examples. Now among the gram-negative rods, we are going to see many different common names, and you are going to find these names more in your studies. And these are uh, Enterobacter species, Escherichia coli, which is going to be a very very uh, important thing. In, if you are talking about microbiology and uh, any kind of microbiological uh, term, you should hear this name uh, that Escherichia coli or E. coli, better known as, right? So E. coli is the most common uh, part of these gram-negative rods. So we are having Enterobacter. So let me write in this gram-negative rods, which we have seen before. There are Enterobacter species. Enterobacter. Enterobacter species. We are having uh, Escherichia coli or E. coli. We are having Klebsiella species. Klebsiella species. And we are having Protea species. So all of them, the name which I am writing now, Protea species. All of them belongs to these drum negative rods. And obviously Pseudomonas species. Pseudomonas species. So all of them uh, belongs to these G uh, gram negative rods. And among them, you can see all of them. You, you need to learn very carefully about Enterobacter, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella, Proteus, and all these things because they are very very important because they are related with our digestion. Now why they are important? Because they are related with our digestion. Digestion and obviously a little extent with uh, the absorption of our food but they are very very important if any uh, if any means uh, this microflora is getting hampered it will lead to the troubling for the digestion purposes that is caused by when you tr when you can see, you may imagine that when you were taking uh, some uh, antibiotic medications a lot of antibiotic medications this kind of normal microflora can be destroyed and as a result you can see several consequences like uh, the digestion problems and all these things and these things are associated with this killing of this normal microflora of our gut okay and and among the anaerobic species, because uh, in this intestinal part there are very little oxygen left, so you can have anaerobic organisms. And among the anaerobic organisms, we can have Clostridium species as well as Lactobacillus species. So let me write Clostridium, Clostridium species, and obviously we are also having uh, Lactobacillus species. Lactobacillus species is a kind of anaerobic and all of them among among the rest of all these uh, bacteria these two bacteria are very very important for us one is this Escherichia coli this is important as well as this Lactobacillus species is very very important because they are also clinically as well as medically and as well as industrially in all this case they are very very important microorganisms we are going to see detail detailing about these microorganisms in later uh, chapters but here these are the importance okay and uh, this intestinal microflora flora I've already talked about why it is uh, important and this intestinal microflora is also important for maintaining the gastrointestinal lining right because if I uh, make a cross section of uh, intestine so so if I draw a basic picture here let's say let's let's say let's say this so or let's take this color okay now in this case let's say this is a kind of our intestinal part so they are kind of uh, Quite like that. If we take a part and make a cross section of that, how what we can see, we can see something like that. Villi is coming out, villi or villi, whatever you can say. This is coming out throughout this place, and this is the cross section. This is a cross section, right? 
now this thing we are going to see then this throughout the video we can have uh, all these things attached so we are having this microfloras attached throughout this place so they are attached there and there is a lining of mucus through this villi so this mucus lining uh, which i am drawing with this pink color is very very important because this mucus lining so this is mucus lining this is important why this is important because if there is an hamperation of this mucus lining that can eventually uh, make problems for the rest of the tissues that are present there or uh, endotheliums that are present there to be degraded by different intestinal acids and enzymes and all these things right so the, for this protective layer or maintaining this uh, protective mucus layer we need the help of this microorganism so these microorganisms are most of them beneficial but sometimes they can cause different diseases like this uh, type of anaerobic uh, one like this clostridium species uh, can cause some diseases and also there are some bacteroid species also some bacteroids bacteroids which are behaving like bacteria so these bacteroids uh, can cause among these bacteria this, there is a, a species called bacteroids fragilis fragilis so this bacteroids fragilis so fragilis actually fragilis so this bacteroids fragilis can cause intra abdominal abscesses and also there are some additional intestinal microflora that can cause several diseases like uh, uh, peritonitis so let me talk some diseases some gastrointestinal diseases peritonitis is an example peritonitis they can cause diseases like appendicitis appendicitis and also they can cause diseases like diverticulitis and trauma and all these things they can cause but for maintaining this kind of intestinal lining and all these things these bacteria are important Okay, so that's it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.